and good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mole for Tuesday the 1st of August. I've got some kind of frog in my throat, so excuse the voice as it comes and goes and wavers. Um, but anyway, we're working our way through the book of Acts with McShane. Today reading chapter 19, Paul's ministry in Ephesus. And there's so much going on there, it's worth a read to just stop and think and consider. But right at the beginning, I'm struck, Paul goes to the city and finds a group of believers. And he says to them, have you received the Holy Spirit? And their response is, no, we have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. So Paul digs a bit further and he says, so what baptism did you receive? They say, well, you received John's baptism. And Paul said, John's baptism was a baptism of repentance. He told the people to believe in the one coming after him, that is, in Jesus. On hearing this, they were baptized into the name of the Lord Jesus. Now clearly, as Paul spoke to them, that wasn't all Paul said. We must have a very, very um, succinct summary of what Paul must have taught them. There must have been a long discussion about John and what he taught and Jesus and how he lived and what the meaning was and how John time and again pointed to Jesus and, and how all, all of John's predictions and, and all of his, his ministry and the whole of the Old Testament came together in Christ. And, so, and the people were convinced and converted um, and were baptized into the name of Jesus. But what it made me think was, here were people following, but following not quite completely, because they didn't know. It wasn't that they, they had rejected something. It wasn't that they had decided to only believe some things and not others. They believed what they'd been told. They just hadn't been told at all. Um, and we see this time and again in Acts as people meet and there's, there's a debate. And as you read through the, the New Testament, you find it, uh, that there's all the, these issues and problems that are, crop up because people don't know. And then other people come with false information. And there's this ongoing struggle to, to maintain and build and keep the faith. And it made me realize what a privilege we have that we have the scriptures, oh, all of Paul's teaching, well, maybe not all, but all of his letters, or sufficient numbers of his letters to, to ground us in the faith. We have the Gospels, we have the, the whole history in Acts. Not only that, we have the, the history of the church. We have all the writings of the church fathers. We end up with the, the creeds, where people have sat and wrestled with what is taught in scripture and brought it together in a way that we can um, hold on to. And subsequent in the 2,000 years of of the church's life. We have books and commentaries and sermons and all sorts of things to ground and guide our faith. How different to those people in Ephesus. And I think we, we've just got to time and again give thanks for the privilege we have and use the privilege we have to ground and grow and share our faith. So be encouraged, be challenged, be blessed. <music>